Hey everyone, Mike Murley here. I put up a uh, instructable uh, on the Instructables website um, about making a, sol a, a very easy solar panel so that you can see how it works, do it cheaply, and actually be effective in helping you heat, heat your room up. And if you build enough of them, actually, you could, and depending on how, where you put them and if you have the south face, facing windows, you can actually heat your house. Uh, you do have to have sun. Uh, they don't work um, uh, without the sun. That is a drawback on a passive uh, solar heating system. There's no electronics, there's no mechanics, there's no nothing. All there is is just a black piece of material that collects the heat and it depends on what type of material is on how much heat that is collected. Okay, what we did was I built a panel. It's divided into four equal uh, segments behind and I've got doors on each one and it's got a solid piece of that um, uh, insulating film on the front. I put holes up on the top uh, corners of each chamber because I tried to do it before without the doors and I just put some materials in there and some thermometers, but my thermometers on the, on the uh, foil side, they just went popped within just a few, few minutes. I mean, I put it in the sun and boom, the thermometers were gone. So I thought maybe I need to do it a different way. So we, we're doing chambers. This chamber has the uh, foil. This chamber has a black uh, cloth. This chamber has the uh, imitation leather, uh, a light brown, and this side here has a, the imitation uh, leather, light brown, but it's got the, um, the, the white side flipped out. So you've got a white material here, brown material here, black material here, and the uh, black foil here. Let's go ahead and take some real quick readings so that we can see what each uh, material gives you with the amount of sunlight that we have with the exact same angle, the exact same size uh, chambers. So let's do this real quick. Okay, on the metal we got 156.2, 156.2 degrees on the aluminum foil. Let's go ahead and get a measurement on the black cloth. 153, 153.1. They're but they're very close. Uh, they're black. Both of them are black. So uh, obviously the materials. Th this does have a little bit more, about three or four degrees more temperature to it. Uh, but they're very close in in, uh, in in heat. They they both produce black objects. Obviously are the uh, the uh, material of choice, the color of choice. I should should say to collect solar. Uh, heat. Anyway, we got the um, brown uh, imitation leather here, and on it we've got 135, 135.6, 135.6 on the brown material. Now on the white material, one thirty six point seven. 136.7. And just to show you, when I flip these around, they all three have the same film on the front to um, make sure that the same amount of heat is in each one. And like I said, as you flip it around, you've got the black foil here, the black cloth there, the uh, white uh, material here, and the brown material here. The uh, thermometers, unfortunately, are not working because they they popped when I didn't have the holes in there and I didn't want to replace them. So the doors actually gives us a better reading anyway because we can read the material and not necessarily the uh, the chamber. But 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 uh, the um, the only thermometer that busted was the one that had the um, the black foil. The other ones just just. Uh, Bottomed all the way out, and and they just don't they they just don't work anymore. <clears throat> but anyway, I don't know. Let's see what we can get going on this. There, there's my proof that uh, the black foil is the most optimum material to use um, when you're creating a a solar pa panel, or at least a black metal is the best thing to use. Uh, next in line definitely is the uh, the black cloth. Okay. And then uh, when you go down, you drop about 15 degrees, 20 degrees when you get down into the uh, other color of the materials. I uh, hope this helps out with the uh, understanding of how the light creates heat 
from certain colors of objects. Let, let the debates begin.